Tonight, troopers say they have found the tractor trailer involved in a deadly motorcycle crash in Rockingham County, but they are yet to find the driver. It happened just before 11 this morning on Highway 220 near Williams Road in Rockingham County. And Fox 8's Cassie Fambro went to that scene to learn more and speak with people who live nearby. So, Cassie, this was a chain reaction. It really was, and this map shows you where the crash happened. The tractor trailer and a group of bicycle motorcyclists were traveling down the road between Williams and Baggage. This was after troopers say the truck had hit a piece of raised metal and it was too high and hit the nearby power lines. That's what caused the crash as soon as those motorcyclists hit that debris. Troopers say a group of motorcyclists hit debris in the middle of Highway 220 and started flipping over. Two of the uh, occupants were killed. We have two confirmed fatalities in this crash. Three also were received serious injuries and were transported to Moses Cone Hospital in Greensboro. Troopers spoke to witnesses and quickly found a key piece of evidence. We went and reviewed some, actually some video footage that we were able to obtain. These are two still photos from surveillance footage released by troopers of another vehicle involved in the crash. It shows a tractor trailer northbound on US 220. It's a full size tractor trailer. It's a white cab tractor with a black trailer. It's an open top. Uh, trailer like would haul scrap metal. Troopers say the tractor trailer had a raised piece of metal that rolls a cover over the trailer and it was high enough to hit a power line over 220. It catches that line and it rips that arm of that uh, piece of equipment off and ends up in the roadway. Just moments later, the bikers came through. The motorcyclists uh, were just unable to avoid it. Troopers found the tractor trailer they had been searching for all afternoon and are now trying to identify the motor carrier who owns the truck as well as the driver. Troopers say there's no way of knowing if the truck driver even knew his trailer hit the power line when that happened or that the debris caused a fatal crash behind him. Katie and Michael.